Almita Inventory Distributor, AID. How to manage sales. Select the Activities menu tab. Then click the Manage Sales choice. The Sales Orders and Quotations screen will open. To create a new sales order, click the yellow plus button. On the next screen, click Yes for a new order. A new sales order has been created. Select a customer from the Build To drop-down list. If it is a new customer, double-click the Build To field. The Customers screen appears. Click the yellow plus button. Specify the customer ID and press the Enter key. We use seven-digit phone numbers for the IDs in this presentation because these numbers are unique enough and it is easy to ask a person his or her phone number and to quickly pull out the record. On the same screen, specify the person or company name and the mailing address. When you are finished, close the customer's screen and select the new customer from the Build To drop-down list. Now you can start adding items that you have sold. In the line items, start with an empty record and select the item ID. Change the quantity sold if more than one, and the unit price if different from the one in your database. Continue adding items by going down to an empty row for each new item. While adding line items, if you do not know the product ID, double-click the item ID field. The inventory items screen will open. In the search field, type in a word or two which you think should be in the product description. The items will be filtered for you. Select the item, click the Copy button at the top left, return to the Sales Orders screen and paste the copied ID into the line item. After all information has been added to the sales order, you can print it out if needed. To print it, click the Print button at the top of the screen, then double-click the Sales Order Form choice. To delete a sales order, click the Trash Can button located on the top left corner of the screen. Let us now ship the product and invoice the customer. At the bottom of the Sales Orders screen, click the Ship Product button. The Inventory Negative Adjustment screen appears. All line items are pre-populated. However, we need to tell the software what serial numbers we are selecting and the location from which we are selecting our product. For each row, click on the plus sign on the left to drill down to the storage area. Open the location list and select inventory units. You can change the number of picked units if needed. Continue selecting your inventory until all picking is done. Finally, click the Save button. If the sales order has not been invoiced yet, the invoice is generated automatically and the invoice screen opens. You can tell the software that you have received a payment if you have collected it already. For that, just click the Receive Payment button. The Payment Details screen appears. If the payment amount is the same as the invoice amount, click the left arrow button to populate the amount field. Otherwise, just type in a real payment amount. Finally, click the Save and Close button. Returning back to the Sales Order screen, we can see that the order has been shipped, invoiced, and closed. In a multi-user environment, sometimes you need to refresh the screen to see the changes. 
Press the F5 function key to do that. 